Alrighty, so got a bearing here. Slightly rusty, slightly crusty. It's not in bad shape. You can feel a little coarseness in there. But we're gonna give you a tip today. And just the tip, only for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and get the snap ring out. We're gonna take the shielding out here and we're gonna re-grease it, work it in so it's nice and smooth. That way we put it back in. She's good to go for another couple of years. We'll use this nice fine pick here. We're going to carefully pick the shielding out of here. Because we are going to reuse it. Got some nasty, crusty, gooey, gooey in there. We're going to clean that out as best we can. So right here, I filled the cavity with brake clean. I'm going to go over and spin it a bunch of times and try to work the brake clean in around the balls and break up that grease and we'll dump it out and spray it out as best we can until it comes out mostly clean. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Got those nice and cleaned out. So the bearing's still in good condition, but you ask yourself, why? What's the point of doing this? Just replace that bearing. Very doable. However, the bearing coming off of this uh, part, I've done these a lot. The likelihood of coming up easily is low. And the likelihood of breaking this is very high. Yeah, it's a you know ten dollar bearing, but it's a you know hundred dollar pulley. So it is worth the twenty minutes it takes to pull the snap ring out, pull the shield out, a little bit of brake clean, and we'll squirt some grease in there. Needle greaser. We're gonna grease it down inside here and spin it around and work the grease in as best we can. We go around and. Now we're going to have to work that in there. As the balls roll around, they actually pull the grease in. It'll work it back down inside there. Because it's a needle, you can kind of shove it down in there. Try to get a, a pulse of grease in there as best you can. We will take our shielding. And we are going to stuff it back down in that hole. Try to wipe away, get them out of this excess so we can see what we're doing. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of push that shielding down in around the outside edge. Just like that. And there we go. Got a nicely new sealed bearing. Take our snap ring pliers. Put it back in. And there we go. Sealed back up for another couple years of service. And there's your tip, just for a minute.